Welcome, 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 welcome back to another um, rainy, rainy, sad, gloomy January episode of uh, a guide to poor parenting. Even though this podcast will probably come out in March. <laughs> And well, this month is February. Oh, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get my days right. Um, well, welcome back to another episode of A Guide to Board Parenting, a podcast with me, Jason. And me, Jennifer. Have a few drinks. And talk shit about our kids. Uh, let me find myself in the script. Um, please follow us on Instagram at Guide to Board Parenting and Twitter X slash Facebook at Poor Parent Pod. Um, and... Yeah, we're trying. Jennifer's been uh, diligently posting. She's about to dump a whole bunch of crap that we had saved, and we're finally just trying to get out there and post stuff regularly. And, right. And uh, Jessica, who I so Jim and Jim, Kim and Jessica, who came on the podcast season two, I think. I think so. Yeah, they um, they came on, and they are going. Or Jessica does the um, social media imp- or stuff for shenanigans here in Huntsville Mm -hmm. and I asked her I was like can we meet up and you give me some like a blueprint of what to do because I I think I could figure it out but Mm -hmm. I'm just struggling and I don't know like I don't I don't have an idea of what to post because I don't particularly want to post a bunch of personal stuff right because I find, like, the people who do, kudos to y'all. Yeah. I just don't find comfortable. Like, I realize we're doing a podcast about our lives, but right. at the same time, it's like... Um, you don't need to know what my kid looks like. Yeah. I don't want, you know, I don't want Kalia and Justin and Kiki, their stuff out there. Yeah. Definitely don't want Kiki, or Kalia and Wesley's yeah. stuff online. But I just don't know what to post. Yeah. And I don't you just have... want someone to tell you what to do. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. essence. <laughs> well, and how to maximize, like, the the bits that we do do, how to maximize it. So, yeah. No, I understand that. Yeah. Social media is tough. I don't... Yeah. Like, you know, a lot of people make um, make careers out of it. Yeah. And I'm like, kudos to y'all. But uh, I, I feel like those who try and... What is the term? Not exploit, but... Um, monetize their kids yeah even though we are kind of doing that as an offshoot we try to like this is our experience this isn't about the kids yeah i mean it's tangentially about the kids what they do to us right (laughs) and then we unload to our 11 listeners there we go yeah definitely (laughs) so it's like while we are monetizing our pain we're not monetizing the children directly exactly yeah they're not on here talking or you know, sharing their stories and we're not going to post pictures of them no. or anything like that. So that way they can still be their horrible 13 and 10 year old selves. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't believe Wesley's about 13. Oh, I know. Two weeks. Two weeks today. Yeah. yeah. God bless. Yep. You are an asshole. Yep. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Well, how's your week been, Miss Jennifer? Um, just trying to get ready for the surgery. I uh, took Thursday off because Wesley had an appointment. I had an MRI done, not for the surgery, but for my headache. Uh, I was very happy that they had music this time because I do not like being stuck in that little bit machine and having to stay still because if anyone knows me, staying still is not one of my strong points. Um, Didn't they tell you not to swallow too? Yeah. yeah <laughs> like it as was soon a, as they did. Yeah, my like... neck. And then of course, as soon as someone tells you don't do this, you're like hyper-focusing on it and I was like I gotta swallow I gotta swallow I gotta swallow okay she said when it doesn't make the noises and I'm like it's continuing to make noises so fuck it I'm gonna swallow (laughs) so yeah that was uh that wasn't fun but I got a lot of the pre-surgery stuff done that day um now is it who are you you're going through Huntsville Hospital yeah okay do they so when when I had my my hips replaced and my mom had her knee replaced, we had to go through a joint camp. Do y'all have to do something similar? No, no. Okay, I don't. Is it? It's not through TOC. No. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's the I'm gonna have surgery at the Orthopedic and Spine Center. That's where my and, mom and I had ours. Yeah, and I think it's because it's my foot and not like my ankle for a joint. That might be why, because it, they're mm. not messing with my ankle; they're just messing with my foot. I don't know. Whatever. They had, in the surgery packet, there is no mention of a, a joint camp. Now, if it was like a, you know, a joint camp, like weed, I'd go to that definitely. But uh, <laughs> I don't think I want to do any more than I actually have to, you know. But uh, other than that, just been fighting with Wesley. So, you know, yep. normal, normal shit, different, uh, same, different same. day. Same shit. There's a there's a saying. I Same can't... shit, different day. I think yeah, the, something the, like that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's about what <laughs> I've been up to. What about you? How has your week been? Um, pretty good. Nothing. I think what I did just working and um, 
I don't know if it's springtime or, you know, I'm getting out of a funk or what, but like I have been, there's a lot of like little things around our house that we have just not been doing. Mm -hmm. Like, and admittedly part of it is me being mildly passive aggressive with Zane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, like um, we have a, when we built this, when we built the house, when we remodeled the kitchen, we got granite countertops put in and they cut out a hole in the island for the cooktop. Yeah. And they've left the chunk of granite on our uh, stoop, mm -hmm. like our right next to our front door. And I was like, oh, we need to get rid of that four years ago right? when it happened. And Zane was like, um, he's like, oh, my dad could probably use that. I'm like, okay. So it sat there for four years yeah. and never moved. And um, there's just a lot of that shit going around the house, too, where yeah. I, I don't know. I, I'll admit I am really good at starting projects i'm not that great at finishing them yeah so um i'm proud of myself for this podcast frankly. <laughs> yeah. but i've also got like a shit ton of like i have a string of lights that i actually did string up yeah but they've gotten knocked down twice by branches yeah. and i'm just like i don't want to deal with it right now but it looks ugly and i need to fix it and um what else there's like the pantry and our cabinets and the utility room look like shit and they need to be reorganized mm -hmm. and i just found this weird grocery bag in there full of batteries and like rocks with like love live laugh love shit on them i was like where the fuck do these come from so i asked you like are these yours and you're like no not mine. I think it must be Justin because I've noticed that some of my tools have gone missing. <laughs> like uh, I have a little, um, I don't know what you call it, screwdriver yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, but it's just for like, I keep it in the drunk drawer. So if I need to fix like something like a, a remote or take something off a, you know, a small screw or I need to fix something in the house, it's not one of my bigger ones. Um, and it's missing. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I was like, I think that little fucker stole it. <laughs> and I know I gave one to Kiki. Um, because this is why this is when I buy the next one, it'll be my third set, but yeah, so but I told Zane, I don't know, going back to the whole passive aggressive thing with Zane, is uh, I will all I am the organizer in our relationship, yep, and the organizer in chief, <laughs> I'm the one who organizes parties, I'm the one who organizes vacations, um, our week, you know, it's like I, I organize everything, right, and so. If, um, it, if sometimes Zane will just kind of overlook things because he's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah. Until Jason tells me to do it, I'm not, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just like, God damn it, Zane, this is your house too. <laughs> Pick up that goddamn slab of granite or like we have, um, we Call bought, your dad. Yeah. <laughs> or we just bought new couches and the old one is still sitting in the living room and it will sit there probably for four years unless I make the effort to do it. Yep. So I uh, I told Zane, I was like, we are going to make go through this house, each room, and make a list of little things that just need to be done. Mm -hmm. And the weekends we're going to do. So we started doing that today. Unfortunately, one of the things we had to do was um, the latches on our gates are all fucked up. Yep. And so I was like, I will fix that but you have to put away like we we had to pull the games out of our we have like a shelving unit in our where we record the podcast yeah and um we have to take all the board games out of there because the babies pull them out and make a fucking mess yep. and it's a just a wreck so i was like okay i will fix the latches but you have to put away the games because right now they're just on the floor scattered all over our office yeah just to keep the babies out away from them and i was like zane you but it's raining, so I can't do the latches. So I was yeah. like, okay, you get a reprieve. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you're still telling them what to do. Yes, but... Yeah. You have a week, a weekend weekend honeydew list for both of you guys. Yes. I don't know. I, I mean, I try not to bitch too much about, like, my married life, but I, it's a common uh, theme I am noticing in straight married couples that uh -huh. the wife is always the one that's like, oh, just make them a list. Yeah. Or you were like, oh, just make your husband a list. I'm like, he lives here. Yeah. Can he like? Can he not see the? You know, we have a, a light that's been out in our utility room. Can you? Do I need? Do I need to tell you that needs to be done? <laughs> uh, I mean, he he can very much not. <laughs> yeah. Focus on things and yeah. see things. So I would say, yeah, you do have to tell him. Yeah, Zane is very much, and that's that. I will say, like the the. One of the few frustrations I have in our relationships is Zane is a expert 
ignorer. Yeah. <laughs> like, he just doesn't see things. Yeah. He will uh, just kind of walk past. I'm like, oh, I didn't see it. Yeah. And I'm like, but I know when he, he had a house before me and it was clean and nice and yeah. kept up. and <laughs> So I'm like, God damn it. But I'm not, I know I'm not alone in this. Yeah. And it's not to the point that it drives me to the point where I kill him or divorce him. But right. it still is just like, it oh, Jesus. Frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, would you please pay attention to your house? It's your house too. You help pay the bills. Yeah. But I still love him. Yeah. Do you want to slap him every now and then? <laughs> Sounds like the kids. <laughs> yeah. What are we drinking with, Jennifer? Um, we have a new one. It is the Seven Moons Red Blend. From Chile. Yeah. It's it's not bad. No, I like it. Yeah. It's not um, super exciting, but it's not right. like, it's a good it, drinking wine. Yeah. Not bland or, mm-hmm. or icky or nope. grape juicy or... Nope. Any of that, but yeah, it's good. It's, yeah, it's not super exciting, but I'm like, I like it. Yeah. I'd probably put it at like about maybe a six out of ten. Yeah. yeah. I'd probably put there. Yeah. Yeah. You could definitely have this like at a party because mm-hmm. it was, I want to say we got that one together, didn't we? Probably was one of the least, le- less expensive wines that we bought. I thought this was from a party. Was it? I don't know. No. I don't know. Like the blind asking the blind to lead somewhere. That's very, very, very true. Never mind. <laughs> Jennifer, do you remember this thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember no, either. I don't remember that thing either. <laughs> we, uh, Jennifer and I were uh, we're trying to like schedule our day because normally on Sundays she and I will go, her and me and Zane will go grocery shopping and we'll yep. leave the kids here. And um, she's got to go take Wesley to go get his basketball team photos taken. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, well, do you want to... Um, I was like, do you want to shop or do you want to go grocery shopping? He's like, I, or a podcast. He's like, I'd rather have a drink and bitch about our kids. That's right. <laughs> just because it's raining. I don't know where I was going with that story. I have no idea where you're going with that story oh, either. What was I going to say? I there was no some profound. Oh, I just fled out my damn mind. It's all right. I, oh, well, all right. Tangentially related to what I was talking about, the that previous thing. Um, mental load. We've talked about this before. That's yeah. like, I think part of the reason you and I have... I mean, I've always kind of had a bad memory. Just I think a lot of it, I don't pay attention. Yeah. I just kind of get off of my own little world and don't pay attention. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but what is your... Do you think you feel the same way? Or you... um, Like, my childhood and stuff is probably trauma. That's why I don't remember a lot of that. Um, as an adult, I'm blaming it on COVID. Do you have a bad memory before COVID? Not really. Hmm. Not like it is now. Definitely not. I could remember stuff pretty well i mean not like zane well but you know i was gonna say uh, you know you always hear about mom brain yeah and i honestly think uh, at least a portion of our bad memory is mental load yeah probably because we both have like the mental load of the family like we have to you know you and i both schedule doctor's appointments and make sure they go to extracurriculars mm-hmm. and um you know, dentist appointments and everything like that. And, you know, Figure out what to get for food, what to make that day yeah. without any help from the kids, of course. Yeah. And like Zane help, like Zane will help if I ask him to, but yeah. it's still like my responsibility to organize yeah. and that mental load. I think that because that occupies so much of our brain, brain that that's why our memory so shit. Huh? Sounds like a good excuse to me. Mm. Because, I mean, you got COVID a year after you got Wesley, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, again, I don't remember what that year was like, so... <laughs> I know he wasn't such an asshole then, but... I guess that was our honeymoon period. <laughs> well, you can't remember anything, so... Yeah, whatever. that's true. <laughs> um, all right, so we've had our cocktail. We talked about how our week mm-hmm. is... What are we talking about today, Miss Jennifer? Um, hormones. Oh. Yay. Now, we've kind of talked on another episode about puberty, but it's just Wesley's going to turn 13 in two weeks. So it's and he's, very on my brain because he is just like PMSing like all the fucking time. Not just the week, but just like yeah. going it, crazy. He has a real problem with trans. Like I think all ADHD kids have this problem too, but Cleo has it a bit herself but transitions Mm -hmm. like anytime you have to get them to transition on something they want to do or something they don't want to do it is like bending steel Mm -hmm. and then you have a giant tantrum yep Kalia is less so but she is still like if she's in the middle of her show or she's doing what she wants to do Mm -hmm. um, it's like hell and high water we're gonna fight about something yep but I I, yeah horn fucking hormones i i will say i can tell 
when Kalia's getting close to her period uh-huh. because she gets a little extra moody. Yeah. Uh, Wesley, I don't know what the fuck his problem is. He's it, just moody all the time. Yeah. I will say, we, I think the biggest thing we've noticed for moodiness, as I'm dominating this conversation, <laughs> is okay. um, sleepiness. Yes. Because he is just god awful at yeah. night. Oh, yeah. I think part of that, too, is you're exhausted, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you're just, like, wanting to go home and you're tired and you don't want to deal with his bullshit. Yeah. So, y'all and are both exhausted. And he wants to bring more bullshit to it. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. dude, I want to go to fucking bed. But, of course, then I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. And then, you know, I guess he forgets that I'm the mom. I don't understand. But he's like, you're not going to bed yet. And I was like, well, I have to finish your fucking clothes. Or I have to, you know, <laughs> get the dog stuff together. Or I have to start the dishwasher. Like, you know, life stuff. And I'm like, and you're fucking 12 right now. So go to bed when I just tell you to go to bed. Because it, it's even worse trying to wake his little ass up. Yeah. Oh, he, uh, you want to tell about the uh, making a little fort under his bed? Did I not? Uh, you told me. I don't know oh, if you okay. told our, our dedicated listeners. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there was a time, the, it was a couple weeks ago, I guess. Um, he was having trouble sleeping, he said. I don't even think he tried, to be honest. But whatever. He was somewhat quiet. And um, one night in his trouble sleeping, he decided to rearrange his room. And I, my bedroom's pretty much right next to his, but I have a fan on. I have a, a, an app that I listen to that, like, tells me a story to help me go to sleep. I'm on a whole bunch of medicine to sleep. Um, so the dogs would stir and kind of growl and, and um, would wake me up because I hear that because, you know, you're, you still have that, like, you don't fully go to sleep because you're a mom. Right. You got to listen for everything. And... It happened multiple times, and he got out of his room multiple times, and of course he's not quiet, you know, slamming doors, stomping through the house. And the next morning I go to wake him up, and he decided to build a fort with his bed. Hell yeah. So he got his desk and his, like, nightstand, is a pretty big nightstand, and his dresser, <clears throat> and then he put his bed on top of it. So he has, like, a little fort underneath his bed now. And he was sleeping on the bed, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? So he was sleeping. He put all that stuff on under his bed frame. Right. And then he was sleeping on top of the bed, on top of the, all on that. On top of all the stuff. I thought he had made a fort underneath. Well, he did. No, I meant he was sleeping, oh, sleeping he underneath. Oh, he did sleep under there one time, and then I couldn't reach him, so I used a broom to wake him up. And he was not very happy with that. He said he was going <laughs> to punch me. Um, and I was like, well, if it makes you get up, then come on, punch me, because come on, let's go. But uh, so I was like, oh, shit, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm thinking, you know, he's going to break a leg. Man, I shook that thing like it was, it was a damn earthquake and it. Didn't move. Wow. Well. I was like, all right, well, whatever. I ain't going to fight you on this because <laughs> whatever. But I was like, don't sleep underneath the fucking bed again, though, because I can't reach him. Yeah, now, that's what he wants. And he really got mad because I got the crutch out. When he still would wake up, because, you know, trying to wake his little ass up so he goes to school and I can go to work. Stop! But. He almost got hit by a cane last night. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, you and Wesley were leaving our house after dinner, and he was he was being a butt, because yep. you were, like, trying to get him out the door, and you're like, give me the tablet, yep. and he was fighting with you, and he was just taking a sweet time being a dick, so I was taking my mom's cane that she let me borrow and taking it out to my car, and he was like dicking around so i just jabbed him right in the hip and he's like he's gonna hit me i was like i sure am fuck will you little bastard why is he following me mama he gonna make sure you get in the fucking car wesley <sighs> not that you had somewhere that you were gonna take that game to he doesn't think like that nope Ugh. so yeah he is he is on one right now he's like a thousand percent extra and it's really weird because he is like somehow mentally going back to like three four five years old so like the other day i was like you can't have your tablet until you do your clothes right he fell in the fucking floor and like started pounding on the floor and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you dude this is not cool why are you throwing a temper tantrum like you were three four five like they had like almost in tears oh yeah I i was like wesley you're not allowed to have your tablet and do stuff because you stop doing what i'm asking you to do mm-hmm. and you're focusing on the tablet i just want to play music oh 
I'm like, well, fuck you. You're not going to play music. You're going to just get the shit done and then you can have your damn tablet. It's like, but I don't have to give it to you. Y'all have Alexa around the house. He just asked, let's play music. Oh, no, not no more. Oh, okay. No I took them all out except for the one in my bedroom. <laughs> Well, because he got a, he yeah. asked her to play a song that had explicit lyrics, and then he somehow talked her into signing me up for fucking Amazon Music that I didn't want. <laughs> so I was like, oh, no more of this. So, yeah, Bless. we don't have them anymore in the house. Bless him. <laughs> yeah. I, I just don't understand. But, yeah, like, I don't know how long this shit lasts, but I'm, one of us is going to die by the end of it. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not, but damn. <laughs> you're going to, oh, you're going to be, um, either you're going to go crazy or you're going to become a, like a, uh, a pot smoking, um, thing just so you can cope with his <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I try to have like somewhat adult conversations with him where I'm like just kind of <laughs> talking to him. Like, look, I don't want to wash your clothes, but you want clean clothes for school, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, then why the fuck do you fight me every time I'm like, go, dude, put the clothes in the kitchen so that I can sort through them because he doesn't ever sort right. And then he has all that mm-hmm. shit in his pockets. And then I can wash him because I do not trust him with laundry detergent nope. or to check his pockets because nope. we tried that and he never did what he was supposed to do. Like, hell, I used to, I tried to be like, look, don't have inside out stuff. Don't, you know, it might not wash right, you know, try to have everything right side out. And and I would just fight with him. So now I'm like, I don't give a fuck what it looked like. Try not to have two pairs of socks, I mean, two socks together, but whatever. <laughs> if it's stinky, then that's fucking on you. I'm done. But I just don't understand how, like, he's, re- he's going backwards, it feels like. Because we did not have no problems when he would have an accident and he would just go put his sheets in the wash. And now it's like pulling teeth so that he doesn't have the sheets in, in, on his bed or god forbid he puts them on the floor on top of clean clothes i think so, I, I will I, I don't apologize for interrupting no, okay. I, I was gonna say i saw this a lot in matthew too it was about control he thinks he's like at least matt matthew is a pretty smart kid yeah adhd and odd pretty bad yeah um, i would say that rivals uh that little monster yeah um but he was smart where Wes- Wesley's kind of iffy. Um, but it's the uh, I know best mm-hmm. and uh, I, um, I'm i going to do what I want to do attitude that always got Matthew in trouble. And yeah. he just craved his independence and it's like, I just want to do what I want to do. Right. And fuck you. Well, I'm sorry you're a fucking kid. You can't do what you want to do. Yeah. Because if you did, you wouldn't take a fucking shower. You would eat nothing but junk food. You'd have no teeth. And you'd be on a fucking tablet all day and not going to school. Yeah. No. Yeah. Sorry, as a parent, I have to <laughs> make you take a shower. Uh, the shower, I think you should just let him go stinky. No, I mean, uh, the thing is, is that I I don't fight him like you fight Kalia on showers. Mm. It's the accident sheets in the floor on my yeah. hardwood floor that I fight with him. Because that's nasty and it can mess up my hardwood. Yeah. And that's, it's just... Blech. But I think at this point, because he's only he's going to be 13 soon, that you want nasty shit in your room, then you have nasty shit in your room, whatever. Because yeah. I'm, I'm like, you want to take a shower this morning? And if you don't, you peed yourself, whatever. You're not going to do it at Jason's. Because he's like, oh, just take a shower at Jason's. No, it's not your fucking house. <laughs> like, I will tell Zane, because I know he's up. I know he's up. That's what I was trying to say. That you're not taking a shower. Yeah. You're not going to leave this house. Stinky, With stinky. no clothes on. He did that one time. He had a blanket wrapped around me. He's like, I'm naked. I forgot my underwear. And I had to turn around to get his little ass underwear. And I'm like, we're never doing this again. You're going to get dressed. I don't care. <laughs> like, done. <laughs> or I'll pick your fucking outfit. And I know he won't like that. Oh, man. Yeah. So, And it's just really, like I said, it's weird to see him regress and my and that's how i feel like I, I look at it and i'm like you're being a toddler not a almost teenager i think it is those hormones or i think as, as they surge through their bodies it just especially with boys it just makes their brain stop functioning i mean Kalia gets 
bad. Like she she gets argumentative and stupid. Like yeah. arguing over stupid things. Oh yeah. Um and being like I think she may be getting ready to start her period soon. Let me check. Because I've been tracking her periods for a while. Uh she's probably got another week or two. Eh, maybe another week. But she we took her she wanted to go spend some of her she'd saved up money from Christmas and so we took her to you me and Zane took her to Hot Topic yep. yesterday. And you know, she was shopping around, having a good time, and then towards the end of it, she started getting grumpy and pissy, and I was just like, no one's mad. I was like, why are you being a bitch? Yeah. <laughs> like, why are you upset? I'm like, you're buying the stuff you want. Yeah. I was like, stop being a pissy little cunt. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I mean, before we left, Zane yelled at her. Yeah. And she did not like that. Yeah. Um, she and perked so up we were, by, we by... were in the car, so I made sure to make her laugh make her not remember or think about it i guess is the not remember but think about it yeah. and so she perked up and then when we went to uh we went to a thrift store trying to find me a knee scooter for my surgery um she got a shirt so she was feeling a little bit better then but i think she still had that in the back of her mind of being yelled at who knows i mean that was that was how i saw the situation yesterday yeah. I think I think part of it was she's getting mad at me for telling her she didn't have enough money for stuff. Oh yeah. Um, but oh, was, me too, because she was she was looking at something. I'm like, well, you can't get that in that because that's too much money. Yeah. It's like you, you go ask Grandpa if you have enough for this, and she's like, okay, and then she just kind of stopped. Yeah, off. I think that's what happened. Was she was getting upset that she was being told she didn't have enough money, even though it was like we're trying to, <laughs> trying to fucking help her. Yeah. I think next time, I, and, and oh, I was about ready to slap her because I took her. I was when I took her up to the cash register, and I was like, okay, put yourself on the. Um, on the on the counter and so she just put her wad of cash on the counter and with all her crap and i was like baby hold on to your cash I was like, don't just flash a bunch of dollar bills right um and then the lady told us the total and clear's like well i don't know what to do and i'm like well count it out dumbass <laughs> i didn't say that but yeah i was like you I thought was, it yeah i was like oh well count out your money and she's then and, <sighs> and there's a line forming and yeah. she's counting it out and then she she gave him the right amount, and then she just walked off. Yep. And I was like, and I grabbed her shirt. I was like, stay here. The lady's got to give you her. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then she got, I think she got a little mad at me, too. I was like, where are your buttons? Because I thought that you, she had given them to you to hold, and she put them in her back pocket. And I'm yeah. like, never put mm. store merchandise in your back pocket or in any pockets. <sighs> you hold them out. So, I, like, I had them in my hand so everybody could see them in my hand so she could see this mm-hmm. is what you do. You know, just, well, I didn't have, you are with people. Yeah. There are eight hands between us. You are mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> I was very proud of doing math. Didn't even think about, like, I was just said eight. Look at me. I think next math. time she goes, I'm just going to be like, here's a calculator. Mm-hmm. Figure it out. Yep. Don't. Don't forget to add 9%. Yep. I was like, granddad, or me, granddad, and Auntie Jay will be sitting over here. Yep. You figure it out. Yep. Here's a time limit. Come back if you have questions, but you yeah. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Probably would have been the Because it's not a big store, so I felt like I was getting, like, in people's way all the time. And mm-hmm. then I don't like to be surrounded by a whole bunch of people and things. Like, yeah. It was a tight store. It was a very, that's a very small store. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at the clearance to see if there was anything that I wanted because it was $10 shirts. I was like, oh, look. I was like, yeah, I'm too old for this place. I found her Team Edward from Twilight. <laughs> you want me to throw up? Oh, good lord! I'm Team Jacob. Gosh, get it right, Jason. <laughs> that say, was the werewolf's <sighs> name, right? Uh, yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. <laughs> God, even... how old are those kids now? They're probably a thirty something. Yeah, I imagine so. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Now there were some Guardians of the Galaxy shirts that looked kind of cool, but they were all like Volume Two and Volume Three. And Volume One's my favorite, and Volume Three made me cry. So oh, I didn't want to wear that fucking shirt because I would it made me sad. Because it's like all about Rocket, and I was like, no, I don't want to. Wanna, oh god, I don't want to wear that. I did, oh yeah, Three was rough, especially when those goddamn animals yeah. died, started dying. I was like, oh my god, mm-hmm. uh, Floor. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. that was rough. And I'm not a crier, but you hurt an animal, and I'm yeah, that, that really gets to me. Like, all the people can die. I don't care about them. But the, ooh. Yeah. When they hurt Rocket and ooh. his friends, I was like, ooh. Yeah. And then, of course, we're in the theater with Kalia and um, Wesley and Zane. 
And Wesley's just looking between me and you. Y'all crying? Hell yeah, we are. Why aren't you? <laughs> yeah, because we have a heart, it's little bastard. It's sad. <laughs> not a heartless monster like you. No. Nah. But he was. He was looking, like, concerned. But I knew I was going to boohoo if they messed with them damn animals. Because you could tell, like... Sue saw me cages. I'm like, fucking shit, I don't like yep. this. I knew it was coming. Ugh. And I still. Yep. Niagara Falls. No, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. No. And so back to hormones. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I mean, what, crying what, is yeah, part of true. hormones. What is, what is the, um, so Wesley's becoming a three-year-old again. Yep. Kalia has her waves of just ridiculous grumpiness. Yep. What is, um, and... With her, she's further into puberty than Wesley is. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's actually the same, probably the same height as her mom at this point. Yeah. Like we went, I just dropped her off this morning in Coleman so she could see her mom. And um, they were close to the same height, if yeah. not the same height. So I was like, she'll probably be just a little bit taller than her mom, but not much more. Yeah. Um, but she's, you know, I could see those hormones affecting her at eight. Oh, like, yeah. Because she got a booty mm-hmm. first. Yeah. And then she got... Little boobies yep. around nine, and she got no uh, eight, and then she had her period around eight. Yep. I was like, oh lord. Yep. It's too early for this shit. Is she stanky? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't like if she was the type of person that could have like bushy armpits and not stink. Yeah. I wouldn't care, but sh- her bo is rank. Yeah. And so I'm. I'm like, listen, when you get older. If you want to be a stinky woman, fight for women's rights, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> but you're going to shave them nasty armpits. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Um, but what about Wesley? Has he been stinky? No, not really. I mean, he has breath gr- sometimes, but um, not. That's just because he won't brush his teeth. Uh, but not like B.O. by order. He's pretty religiously using the deodorant. I checked his book bag the other day because um, his basketball coach told me that some kids said that he was smoking in the boys and girls bathroom with, with a vape. And she's, he's like, check his book bag, make sure he doesn't have a vape. So I checked his book bag. He has three different deodorants in his book bag. And I just bought him a brand new one the last time we went shopping. And I'm like, why am I buying you deodorant when you have three in your book bag? Why are you opening my book bag? Because I'm your fucking mom. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh. Anyways. Um, well, at least he's using them. I can't get to Kalia to consistently use. Oh, I use. think he uses it like... More than once a day. Well, I know he, he quite often will put on deodorant when I drop him off in the morning. Yeah. Like, he's slathering on. I was like, Jesus Christ, kid. Yeah. It's I like- mean, I guess he just doesn't want to be stinky, so. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he's been girl kind of fever since I've gotten him. Yeah. You know, with his quote-unquote girlfriends. And um, right now, he says he's uh, he got a seventh-grade girlfriend. Oh, Jesus. But they won't go to the same middle school, so we're okay on that. Let it be long distance or... Boys and Girls Club, um, it's better than him, them being at the same school together. Because <laughs> I can see him try to sneak off and, you oh, know. Oh, Jesus, yeah. You know. He'll be a father by eighth grade. <sighs> no, he won't. Um, But, so, yeah, he doesn't have, I haven't really, you know, like I said, breath is the only thing that's ever been stinky on him. Does he even have underarm hair? Yeah, he does. Oh, does he? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's had um, a couple years now. Oh, has he? Right. Yeah. Because we had talked about it, I think, when he was... 10 he was talking about changes i was like i could talk to you about it i don't mind i was like you know i don't know a lot because i didn't change like you know like you're gonna change because i'm a girl and you're a boy yeah you can always ask jason or uncle ej or zane or you know any of your male friends in life you know his big brother anybody pops um but I was like, you know, your voice will change. It'll like, and his voice has deepened. And then it, you know, it'll squeak. And he's like, I don't want that. I was like, well, you can't really help that. And I was like, and you get hair in places that you never had hair before. <laughs> oh yeah, the kids at school were telling us about that. And I was like, okay, we'll see. It's like, don't listen to everything that you hear from kids at school because, you know, not not everything that somebody tells you is the truth. You can't just assume that it is. Yeah. And, you know, of course, he don't listen to me. So. Well, you know yeah. nothing, Mom. He's going to think, you know, that yeah. he's going to grow an extra arm because some kid told him, you know. That's true. Or that he saw it on TikTok, God forbid, oh, or YouTube. Uh, that, you know, if you when you hit puberty, you grow an extra arm. And if they say that, he is going to fight you tooth and nail, just like that the sky is green. He is so argumentative and, and, and last wordy. And, oh, yeah. like. He was there yeah. the last night. We were. 
we had gone to a place downtown Huntsville and we couldn't get seated. So we just went up to Jimmy John's on the square. Yeah. And, um, on the way back, he was talking about how some we drove past an ATM mis- machine mm-hmm. associated or attached to a bank, and he's like, "Oh, there's a TikToker who's like robbed several banks." I'm like, "It's not real." Yeah, and he's like, "No, it is real. It's on TikTok." I'm like, "It's not real," and he just kept arguing with yeah. me. I was like, "Baby, it's not real." Yeah, it's not real. I was like, "Even if it was like, even if he had done it, he'd be in jail." Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> banks don't fuck around. Nope. You, <laughs> I was like, Mm-mm. "Nope." I was like, you could, pff, shit, like rob a hundred poor people, get away with that probably. Oh, yeah. Rob a bank, you they're going to fuck you up. Oh, yeah, definitely. So And he's like, and you know, if he steals from people, it's okay because the bank will just pay him back. And I'm like, that's not okay. Yeah, not, not but how it he works. watches these stupid videos mm-hmm. and he thinks it's it's real. Well, yeah. Well, because he knows how the world works. Yeah, of course, because he knows everything. Because he's the smartest kid in the world. Oh, yeah. That's what he thinks anyways. <laughs> oh, Yes. I don't know if I, you know, we, uh, I forgot to men- mention this. And mm-hmm. the Clea started gymnastics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she had asked a couple of times, and there's a place that I took her here in Huntsville called Southern States Gymnastics. It seems like a nice little family owned gym. And um, she did summer camp there one year and didn't love it because there was a teacher who, I guess, who yelled at her. And she, if someone yells at her, she just gets super upset. It's the worst day ever. Um, and you know, she just thinks the world's over if you get yelled at. I was like, girl, calm down. I was like, you didn't get anything taken away from you. No one like, (laughs) I was like, you got, yeah, I was like, you got yelled at. It was like, worst things could happen. Calm down. Yeah. Um, anyway, we, uh, I went over there and they're like, oh yeah, you can do a, 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 a class for free. And if she likes it, you can sign her up. And okay. I was like, okay, we'll try. And it really wasn't that. It was like, it was like maybe fifty six dollars per month. Yeah, it's not bad at all. No, for a, a weekly meeting, I mean, it was cheaper than her art class. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna start doing it. Although I just tell Zane, I was like, you're gonna take her to this one because I was like, I I am always the one who takes her to art class. Yep. And um, you get some of this. Right. So, but no, nope. again, you told him what to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can say I'm the organizer. <laughs> yeah. <you go. laughs> That girl would be, well, that was what I said. That girl would be dead if I weren't for me, but she wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. Nah. So That's very true. Very, um, very true. Yeah. All right. Well, I think, uh, any other hormone news? Um, no. I'm trying to think, do, I'm trying to think other kids that we've been around that have, we've seen the, them transition through puberty. Matt was, Matt and John, I rem- oh, God, my memory's so bad, but I was like, I remember them transitioning and it was, it was interesting because they... They're just little horn balls, but yeah, um, yeah. They they had a they kind of you know they awkward, stinky, and then they kind of just grew into their bodies finally. Right. So, and I I see that happening with with Wesley too. I think around sixteen, seventeen, towards the end of high school, will be rough, even compared to right now. Yeah. So if you can get him to graduate early, do it. Yeah. If I um, get him to graduate at all, that's, well, that's true. Know, yeah. That's my goal. But, uh, yeah, well, I was like, we should see if we can get him into the thing like what Matt did with the welding thing. Because it got him so many credits early that he was able to graduate early. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, once they hit, like, I don't know. It's like once they got out of high school, everything calms down a lot, too. Because yeah. there's a lot less pressure on you. Right. To, you know, enforce these fucking rules all the time. Right. It's like, you got to go to school. You got to do this. You got to do that. Yeah. If they don't, you know, it's like. As long as you're cool with them just laying around the house. But they can't, because in the state of Alabama, you'll go to jail. No, no, I mean, after he graduates. Oh, after he graduates. Yeah. I thought you were, talk- you were saying no, high no, school, no, no, and no, then no. you said that. I mean, that, after, so. it, once he's graduated, right. like, as long as you're cool with him just being a bum around the house, yep. like, <laughs> you're going to kick nope. him out. Yep. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of my house. I mean, that's how I feel right now, because I don't even want to really be around him right now, because he's so mean. Yeah, that's true. But I think a lot of the reason he's mean is because you're having to enforce a lot of rules on him. When he gets to a certain point and you're not having to enforce rules, you probably won't care as much. I mean, I don't really. And you know, I think about like when I was his age, shit. I was working, babysitting. I was, you know, I was doing my mama's laundry at 13. Like I, I knew how to do all this stuff. You I didn't can't. have shit to do though either. 
Like, you didn't have a tablet to occupy your time. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I, I mean, I had whatever the VCR recorded to watch, but that was about it. Yeah. yeah. I Video think- games, that kind of thing. But, yeah, not what we, not what these kids have now, no. Yeah. But, you know, and the thing is, is, like, I ask him to clean the room that he stays in, the bathroom that he uses, and his clothes. I don't tell him, to, I don't make him take out the trash. I don't make him do dishes. For for most of it's because I don't trust him. Yeah. He would like break open the garbage bag in the front yard and then I'd have to clean it up. Or he'd break dishes or he'd do a laundry, he'd use way too much soap. So I'm not gonna show him that stuff until he's a little bit older because yeah. it, it ain't gonna do nothing right now, but just make more work for me. True. And just frustrate the fuck out of him. Do you use pods? No. No. Yeah. But I say he might just get me like here's a pot. He would do he would eat it. No. Well, eh? And he, or he would use of five of them and then break my washing machine and that's an expensive fast washing machine. No, no, no. You keep the pods in your bedroom like here. And he's like, I need to do laundry. Here's a pod. Come on. But then he might have some shit in his pockets. Yeah, that's true. That breaks my washing machine. I don't think there's much in the pockets that could break a washing machine. You think? No. Nah. The worst, you might get some ink in there, but like that's actually not that hard to get out. Okay. Maybe I'll start buying pods then. Yeah. Just give him a uh, pod. He ain't going to like you very much. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck them kids. That's right. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> on that note. That was a good transition spot. <laughs> so, um, to all our 1311 listeners. 1311? 13, to all our 13 le- listeners. <laughs> Say it. I can't, because that's... <laughs> Because you're supposed to say if you have a voice. No, to, to all our 11 listeners. Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> and hi, Benjamin. Yeah, hi, Benji. <laughs> if you, God damn it, Jennifer. <laughs> if, so to all our 11 listeners, if you have any funny stories about your kids. Or if you need some bad parenting <laughs> advice. Or if you have any ideas for topics. Please. please. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> the giggles now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Sorry for the giggles, guys. <laughs> Email us at guide to parenting at gmail.com. I got Jason crying. Yay. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh. So for snack time, what are we eating on, Jason? Oh, we were struggling. <laughs> I was like, Jennifer, you want to go ro- run over to Publix and see? And she's like, no. I was like, okay, I got these uh, these pretzel crisps. She's like, they're edible. I was like, hold on. I got some like Gouda from a year old, but it's vacuum sealed, so it's probably fine. Yep. But it's pre- I like it. I like it too. Yeah. Especially with the crackers. Yep. And the wine. Some smoked Gouda. And some smoked Gouda. Are you, you haven't drank all your wine. Oh, no. Okay, you're not an alcoholic like me. No. <laughs> my alcoholic goes to meetings. I just like to drink. That's cool. I will drink my wine while you tell us the story time because it's your turn. All right. So we've had our snack and then it's our time. Um, so uh, I was trying to think. I was like, what can we... Because we keep talking about Clea and Wesley just because they're you know in the house. But yeah. I was I was like, oh, I'm going to tell a story, one of Justin's stories. So... Not too long after we got him, back in 2000, it was probably 2018 after we adopted him, maybe. He had found some friends at school and they lived in our neighborhood. And so he'd walk down to their house, which is probably about uh, maybe like two tenths of a mile, maybe a quarter of a mile, not too far. Right. Easy walk. And at this time, we had, I think we had Aria at the time. I think we had Aria at the time. Because I think we got Aria before we got Justin. Yeah, we did. Okay. We got Aria the summer before we got Justin, if I remember correctly. Um, anyway, uh, so Justin, like, to his friends would walk down to our house and they would walk back to theirs. And he'd walk back with them. So the one time, um, and I saw Justin walking out and he had a little bag of chips. I wasn't thinking anything of it. So I got Aria on the leash and I started walking her. And I used to walk all that neighborhood constantly because right. I walked all the time with the dog. Anyway, um... I was like, well, I'm just going to walk up one of my normal paths. And it had just happened to be the path up to that kid's house. And I'd be like, I was like, I think that's the bag of chips that Justin was eating. So I'm just going to pick it up. So it was just on the ground, off the sidewalk. We'll walk a little bit further. There's another bag of chips. I picked that up. Walked a little further. Another bag of chips. I found, I must have found, and it was either like candy or some. I just found a lot of litter. And it, yeah. like our neighborhood was not a super like littery place. Right. So I was like, God damn, where's all this litter coming from? And so uh, Justin got back home that night. I was like, hey, um, I'm not accusing you, but I think maybe some... Did you did you drop some of your litter 
you know, your chip bags? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I was just tossing them. I was like, hey, let's not, let's not throw our shit in the let's neighbor's not yard. Be those neighbors, please, and thank God. you. I, don't, cause, I mean, it was a lot. I was yeah. just like, like probably like three bags of plastic bags from chips and some other bullshit. I was like, God damn, just it's like it's not that far of a walk. No. I was like, just put it in your pocket and throw it away, you little bastard. Right. God. Well, that and that's it's. I don't think I've ever seen him eat that much, to be honest. He, Even junk food. Yeah, I was I was kind of shocked too. But that's a lot of food for him. Yeah, he's always been a little skinny little fucker. Yep. Oh, to be thin. Yeah, to be those neighbors. <laughs> God, I was just, ugh. I always felt guilty. Like every now and then I would uh, be walking the dog and I would forget a poop, poop bag. And I was like, oh, I felt awful. I would either like try and find trash and pick it up mm-hmm. or I would like find a leaf and throw it in the storm drain or something. Right. But I, I was like never would, I did everything my possible to not leave right. poop on someone's yard. Yeah. Unless I didn't like you, then I'd shit well, myself yeah. in your yard. That's right. <laughs> and leave the toilet paper that's me. right <laughs> all right so um well thanks again to listening to another episode of a guide to poor parenting if you like our podcast please give us a five-star rating on whatever platform you're listening on and if you don't like our podcast just like when our kids ask for a big birthday party even though they spent the last two months being a little shit tough shit go home go home, go home? yeah go no home. birthday party for you <laughs> just go home <laughs> No Christmas, no birthday presents either. That's right. Nothing. (laughs) Bye, y'all. Bye.